Okay, friends. Today we're going to be talking about being weary. Are you weary? Right now, this moment, I'm weary. I'm soul weary. And maybe some of you are also. So I hope that the poems will resonate with you. The first poem is called Weary. I'm tired, Lord. Screaming schedules push their presence. Texting phone calls, writing emails. I've no time to sit and ponder. Life is moving way too fast. Then I hear his voice so tender. Come and sit with me a moment. Take the time to be with me and I will give you rest. Doesn't that sound good? Do you take time to just sit with him? Just to rest during the day like this little guy? We really need it. That's how we were made. Our bodies need rest. I don't think they did need rest before the fall, but after the fall, oh yeah, we need rest. The next one is called Melting Days, and I'm not talking about the weather. Father, I am weary as I watch each week unfold. The days all melt together, yet our lives remain on hold. My child, I know you're weary. For each day I'm watching you. Just rest inside my open arms. I'll see you safely through. And the, and the poems today are from He Whispers, Volume 2 and 3. The next poem is called My Journey's Long. I told the Lord, my journey's long. He said, I chose the length. I told him, but I'm faint and weak. He said, I'll give you strength. No matter what my words God heard while listening patiently. But what has meant the most is this. My father walks with me. I don't know about you, but I sometimes carry burdens. And then I'll hear about somebody going through a rough time and I add that to my burden. And before long, I can hardly move. Do you do that as well? God wants us to give him our burdens. So this one's called, Take Them, Lord. Lord, I feel so fragile, like I'm about to break. The burdens that I'm carrying are more than I can take. I know you know my frame, dear Lord, and so I'm asking you, please take each burden that I bear, I'm giving them to you. It just feels good even thinking we can take care of that and give him our burdens, doesn't it? This one's called Call on Me. My child, when you are weary and you cannot even stand, then sit and rest a while, and I will take your hand. I have strength enough to give you. I have power you can't see. You'll walk and not be weary if you simply call on me. And this one is called Regardless. My child, I see you're weary as you move from day to day. You try to comprehend my thoughts and understand my ways. Just trust that I am faithful, that I will be your strength, regardless of how hard your trial, regardless of its length. Oh, I love knowing that God is faithful. Don't you? No matter what the enemy tries telling us, 
I'm telling you, our God is faithful. God doesn't change, which means whatever he is today, he'll be tomorrow. Satan will try telling us, God is tired of meeting your needs. He's tired of you asking him for things, and he's just tired of it all. That's not true. God doesn't get tired. But besides that, he's our loving parent. He always meets our needs. He promised. This is called, you always do. I opened up my heart and prayed. No answer did I hear. I tried to sit there quietly, but didn't feel you near. And so I set my thoughts on you. That's what we need to do. Reflecting what I knew was true. I knew that you would get me through just like you always do. Friends, David used to reflect on all the times that God met his needs. He encouraged himself in the Lord. And that's what he wants us to do. We're to encourage ourselves in the Lord. We're to remember the things that God has got us through, gotten through. He gets us through every time. We just have to trust him and call on him. And he's never going to say, sorry, too busy, or bad connection. No, he's there every time we call, 24-7. I'd like you to be praying for a friend of mine, Corey. She's going through a really rough time. So would you pray for my friend, Corey? And let me pray for all of us right now. Father God, thank you for this time. Thank you for technology, Lord, that I can sit here and share the poetry and know that others will get to hear it as well or see me sharing it. Thank you, God that you love us so much that you gave us your word so that whenever we do get weary, we can be refreshed by what you tell us in your love letter to us. God, help us to encourage one another. And I pray, Lord, for anyone that has needs that you would meet those needs. And I pray for my friend, Corey. Would you comfort her heart with everything that she's going through. And Lord, it just seems like burdens are piled for her. Would you just wrap your loving arms around her and let her know it's going to be okay? Thank you, Lord, for each person that is hearing the sound of my voice or watching me on this video. Thank you, God, for your great love and your faithfulness. And I pray this all in your son's precious and holy name. Help us to rest in you, God. Help us to rest in you. I pray this in Jesus' precious name. Amen. And as I said those words, rest in you, I was reminded of my son's song, Rest in You. I'm going to put it in the comments. If you need time to just sit with the Lord, listen to the words of the, his song, Rest in You, and maybe you'll find that rest. I hope you have a great rest of the day, friends. I'll see you next time. Bye.